cute! Salutations from the other side of the screen. It's Ash GK memes. Not to be confused with Ash dinosaur kettle memes. But today I'm gonna try my hand at storytelling and tell you the Corvette story. There is a time in my life that I consider the best time of my life, and that is the summer of 2009. That is because my cousin and I started talking again. We had this like five year period of not talking to each other. I don't know why. Lauren is just like the only person I can honestly goof around with to my most ridiculous extent and be an absolute dick. And she won't judge me because she's right there with me. She's that kind of a best friend. When I turned 18, she decided to give me a rite of passage thing and we took a trip to an adult store that sells adult things. And I actually ended up bringing money to this place. I don't know if I was gonna buy anything. I just kinda was there. I don't know. It was just a rite of passage thing, so I went along. I ended up screwing around in the store because we were, what, 18 and 19 years old. We finally ended up buying phallic-shaped balloons. I do want to apologize now to any family members I have watching this because it gets bad. Her mom was away doing other things while we went back to her house, and we blew up the phallic-shaped balloons, and we... <laughs> This is the part that comes in where we were ridiculous. We proceeded to strip down to our undergarments and put the phallic shaped balloons between our legs and ride around the house listening to music really loudly. It got to a point where we went out into her garage area because the garage was connected to the back door. We got on top of her dad's Corvette and we just kind of got on top of the car and started dancing around and we were just having, I don't know, we were having a good time. We didn't care that we were kind of idiots. We were just having a good time. Oh, sorry, I got a text. So we're dancing and we're having a good time. And then, and then this happens. We hear a noise that sounds like the garage door opening. We hear it kind of shift and we freeze. We're standing in our undergarments on top of a vehicle that we're not supposed to be on top of. We look towards the garage door and nothing happens. So we're like, whew, okay, that was scary. And then my cousin turns to me and says, wouldn't it be weird if my mom got home early and just opened the garage and saw us standing half naked on the car? And isn't that usually where things go wrong? And of course, a second later, up comes the garage door we flip out. We jumped off the car, ran into the house. Jesus. We're just scrambling to get into the living room, turn the music down, put our clothes on, and we were like, oh my gosh. As we're finishing adjusting ourselves, we hear her mom opening the back door and coming in. Hey girls, how you doing? We're like, yeah, we're fine. Everything's cool. Which then I realize. The living room floor is covered in phallic shaped balloons. And I look at Lauren and I'm like, Lauren, <coughs> balloons. And she was like, oh shit, yeah, what are we gonna do? So we scooped them up and we're trying to run up her stairs. Her mom comes into the living room, sees us running upstairs. My cousin just shoves one of them up her shirt. And her mom's like, what's going on? why are you guys running upstairs? And we're just like, nothing, no, no, nothing. And we just ran into her bedroom and shut the door. And we like threw all the balloons into a closet and shut that. And we were like, okay, hopefully we didn't leave any behind. Hopefully she didn't see anything. We're kind of freaking out. We're waiting and listening in for like, for her to be like, what is this? And we just kind of creep back out of her bedroom. And we come back downstairs because we know more than likely she's probably got some kind of food. And we come back in, hey, how did everything go? Everything's okay here. And she was like, are you girls okay? And we're like, oh yeah, yeah, we're fine. Everything's fine. And that is a short story on how we almost got caught dancing half naked on a car. Good. That was my first try at telling a story, so let me know how you like it. I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye. And we just kind of creep back out of her bedroom.